All right, Middleton going off. So, Perk, what did Middleton prove last night? What I've been preaching time and time again, that he's the Batman of this team and Giannis is the Robin. And look, it's okay to be the Robin. People think that's a bad thing. It's not. Okay, we all know that Giannis is a guy that could dominate the paint. He could get to the paint when he wants. But when it matters the most, we have seen time and time again that Giannis, is, Giannis freezes up in the big moments. But when it matters the most, you could put the ball in Chris Middleton's hands and he delivers in great fashion. He's a guy that can create for his own. He's a shot maker. He shoots about 90% from the free throw line. He gets the job done. Last night, did you see him, Charlie? Did you see him, Foxworth? He went for 20 in the fourth. And when they were down, he took over the game. And Giannis said it after the uh, in this post-game interview. Hey, look. It, it don't even matter, man. If Chris want to take it over in the fourth, let him do it. You know what that sh t told me? That Giannis even knows that he's the bad man on this team, mm. Chris Middleton. That's, so that's a, that's a stretch. So we're going to start off with some wild takes. I've heard you said that before in the past. So Chris Middleton is great. He proved last night that he can be big in big moments. But first of all, you said being called a Robin is not an insult. It absolutely is an insult to a two-time MVP. Robin don't even got no pants. They, they send that man out there in bikini shorts with boots on. That is not some. That's not the way you would treat a Batman. Batman got pants, and the, the person who wears the pants on that team is obviously the almost seven-foot Giannis Antetokounmpo. That whole team is built around him. You know why Chris Middleton can go off on occasion? Because they divide entire defenses to slow down Giannis and yes he's not perfect he struggles from the free throw line and his three-pointers I think what 17% in the playoffs they are bad he is not perfect but he is obviously the person who this team is built around and you know how I can absolutely prove it if I haven't proved proven it just so if I haven't proven it so far I can prove it like this at the end of this season or at the end of both of their careers no one is going to look at Giannis, say they never won a championship. No one's going to look at Chris Middleton and say, you know, Chris Middleton never won a championship. They're going to look at the two-time NBA MVP and measure his career by how many championships he won. That's only something that we do to Batman. We don't count up all, all of Pippen's uh, championships, even though he won six and he was great. That's not something we do. That's how I know that Giannis is the Batman of this situation and is the star of that team. It's not even a debate. See, and, 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 and Foxworth, that lets me further know that <laughs> while you were out doing other things last night, and this is why you're sitting in Max Kellerman's seat, because you probably <laughs> wasn't even watching the game of basketball, okay? Uh -huh. Last night watching the game. Because if you were watching the game, then you can't sit up here, come here in, this morning and say, oh, no, Chris Middleton don't look like the Batman. Chris Middleton don't look like the more skilled player. Chris Middleton don't look like he embraces the moment when it matters the most. I'm not saying overall career. I'm talking about right now on this Milwaukee Bucks team, Chris Middleton is the Batman. I saw Giannis on a couple of occasions last night when he went to the free throw line and the, and the crowd started chatting and counting down, you know, how long he was at the free throw line. And he shot air ball free throws. He shot an air ball, air ball three pointer. But when they were down six or seven points, Chris Middleton said, Give me the damn basketball. And he took over. That's what Batmans do. Well, you, it's one game. I give you that. Last night, Chris Middleton was more important to them. But throughout these entire playoffs and throughout the recent history of this franchise, the guy who leads them in points rebounds. And he's he gets uh, more assists than Chris Middleton. The guy who leads this team, the uh, anchor to the defense. So we're not even going to talk about how Chris Middleton at what? best is probably, at, at best he's, Close, he's not even close to what Giannis contributes on the defensive end of the ball. You gotta roll your See, eyes at me. You as a center don't appreciate rim protection. Oh, first of all, oh, don't give me that about rim protection. Because Giannis is the secondary rim protector to Brook Lopez. And don't even bring up not defense when you talk about when you talk about them. Go pull up the stats. Go pull up the data. Don't I'll even talk finish. to me about Giannis. Don't even talk to me about Giannis and defense. Please don't. Because you know what? I'm going to take you back into last series alone. When it was time to guard Kevin Durant in game seven, you know who was checking Kevin Durant? 
It was Chris Middleton. You know who was delivering buckets on the other end in the fourth quarter going toe-to-toe -to -toe with KD? It was Chris Middleton. Giannis didn't check KD one time. One well, time throughout the whole entire series. Their best and most effective Gian lineup is when Giannis is at the five, offensively and defensively. So maybe you're going to say that that Lopez is their rim protector, their primary rim protector, but when it's winning time, Giannis is the rim protector. And pulling Giannis away from the basket to guard Kevin Durant is not what's best for the team. So I'm, I'm with you. In that moment, it looks like you can pick these isolated moments, but if we open up the league to a draft right now, Giannis is getting picked before Chris Middleton because Giannis is better and more valuable to the team. Like, I understand all these shortcomings that Giannis has, and I understand that Chris Middleton is cooking in the playoffs right now. But let's not pretend like Chris Middleton is better than Giannis. That's the argument you're making, Man, that somehow he's better? I, 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 said he's, I said he's more skilled, and I'm going to end on this note. When I used to do crazy things or, or say things that I shouldn't have said, my grandmother used to tell me, God bless your heart, baby. You don't know no better. <laughs> and that's how I feel about you right now. That I don't know no better. So, okay, so please, we're GMs in the same league. And now I got Giannis on, or you got Giannis on your team. I got Chris Middleton on, on my team. And I'm going to say, let's trade him. And you're going to be like, yeah, sign it, send it to the league. Fax it over to the league that's, office right now. Ma listen. I was almost about to call you Max. Dominique, <laughs> listen what I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now in the moment, I'm talking about this season. I'm not saying uh -huh. who would you start a franchise with. I'm saying in this moment in the Eastern Conference Finals, when you have been watching these this Milwaukee Bucks team play, Chris Middleton has been the Batman. Right. He's delivered okay. so when saying, it mattered the most. All I'm saying is you can't call that a Batman. Robin saved the day once or twice. That don't mean that he's Batman. That's Batman not, is the one that, that all true. of Gotham relies on. That's 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 who Giannis is. Everyone's relying on him game in and game out. And Chris Middleton is stepping up recently. I appreciate it. He is great. I'm not trying to denigrate him. He's awesome. But he ain't Batman.